Hello, Dan the RC man, the RC workshop repair and service. Welcome back to the channel. So we have our first nitro vintage RC on the channel. So this is a three foot long, uh, 16 to 20 year old uh, Tiger Shark speedboat. Okay, so it's got a Team Infinity size 18 engine and uh, but we'll have a look at the engine in just a minute. Um, this is what the boat would look like with the decals on. Obviously this ain't got the decals on, uh, which is a shame, but you know, it it is what it is. Uh, I bought it from the Facebook marketplace uh, for 90 pounds. And um, you know, it's only got like a, a small bit of damage up here. But uh, the person I bought it from has repaired uh, the damage. Um, so, you know, taking this boat out for a bit of a rip shouldn't be a problem. Um, parts wise, as this is 16 to 20 years old, parts are just not available to buy anymore. This boat isn't available to buy anymore. So, uh... <laughs> So I'll probably take it out the once and then uh, let it sit on my shelf for a bit. You know, I, you know, just don't want to go out there, end up breaking it, and uh, you know, I won't be able to repair it. So you know, I'll take it out the once. Um, I've got to take it out the once, you know. So uh, and then uh, it will just sit on the shelf, I reckon. Okay, those of you that have been in the RC hobby for a long time, um, you should remember buying like um, Tamiya kits that you have to build, um, and then you have to buy the transmitter and that separately. Um, you should remember that um, the, the transmitter come with crystals. This come with crystal as well, so uh, it is a uh, strange have an RC with uh, crystals nowadays. So, uh, but yeah, overall, the, the transmitter is in really good condition. It's a uh, Futaba uh, T2ER. Uh, yeah, so uh, that seems in really good condition. You know, it takes eight AAs, which I'm not used to. <laughs> but, uh, it is what it is but yeah this is uh i remember starting tamiya kits in like 2006 time M might be a bit earlier can't remember exact but um but yeah years and years ago but uh it's just really weird uh seeing the crystals again but uh you know but yeah, overall, it's in pretty good condition. Um, it's just a shame that decals wasn't on it. But, uh, you know, but it is what it is. Okay, so we'll get the we'll get the top off and uh, have a look inside. Okay, so it's uh, we've got the top off. So uh, here's the fuel tank. Um, it is a bit wobbly, so I'll have to get some cable ties and uh, secure that in place um, so it don't move while we take it out. This is the Team Infinity size 18 engine. Um, looks in great condition. It does have a clutch. Um, the clutch is, I presume, the clutch is in there. Um, and then you've got like a long the exhaust and you've got long tube that goes the fumes go out the fumes go out the back so we uh, got the pull start here and then uh, inside here I can just lift it up we've got the battery box to receiver um, and then uh, we've got the two servos for the throttle um, and then that we've got that 
so uh, it's in real good condition um, you know the engine seems some uh, compression there so uh, it shouldn't be a problem starting that um, I will be doing a video on starting this up uh, not sure when but um, I will be doing a video as soon as I get time um, and then uh, we'll start this thing up and then uh, see how it sounds but uh, yeah in, real happy with it but uh it's just a shame that we can't get hold of any parts um but yeah real happy with it so uh it's a nice nice little engine okay so um i think it was worth the money um good condition the engine looks in good condition it's got compression um it's just uh Got to zip tie the uh, fuel tank down, uh, which isn't a major problem. Uh, we don't want that moving about while we take it for a rip. Um, the crack on the top, which is just here, um, you know, the person that sold it to me has uh, fixed a problem, um, so there shouldn't be an issue there. Um, like I said. Shame it hasn't got the decals on it, but it's not a major issue. Um, but uh, stay tuned for a video on me starting this up for the first time. Um, and then uh, stay tuned for another video on the when we take this out for a rip. Um, if you want to know anything about this RC speedboat, drop us a comment. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, till next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.